Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time we left off, we successfully recruited Throne. So now we can do all sorts of new stuff. Um, and god, it's gonna be difficult keeping track of everything. Cause you... I can mug. It must be a level 12 or higher to ambush this person. Okay, interesting. Alright, well, we got a lot of things to follow up on now. We can walk to a lot of different areas here. And there's all kinds of new characters to see what kind of stuff I can get from. Jack of all trades. Ambush. Okay. Well, let's swap. You know what? Let's first do the stealing. Actually, I think I've already I've already done the stealing, haven't I? I haven't scrutinized them though. <coughs> well man. Town's aged gravekeeper. Life is cheap in the back streets of New Delsta, and many die, leaving none to mourn them at all. Out of compassion for these lost souls, the gravekeeper collects their mortal remains and interrets them in the graveyard. <laughs> Gotta hit an item for that. Alright, yeah, so we gotta scrutinize everyone, because we've already stolen from a lot of these people. What's the Boy born and raised on the back streets. He never knew his mother, and his father vanished not long ago. Now he's determined to do whatever it takes to put food on the table for his little sister, and one day to have his revenge on his parents that abandoned them. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, there's a new item for us. Go ahead and grab that. Okay. Oops. Can get across the other way. Needle dagger. Another one. We already have one of those. That I got in, um, your chapter, but that's cool. Uh, nothing really going on in here. And if we check here... Yeah, I already checked you, right? I could mug you. You All you have is a stone, though. What about you, old-timer? Um, I could ambush you. I've already mugged you. And you got nothing. Some things going on over here. God, there's so much to look at. Ooh, an invigorating nut M. Okay, hold the phone. That's needed. All right, that's been added to the nuts. Uh, the, <laughs> the nuts. That's been added to the nuts. That's been added to the notes. It's been added to the list of nuts in my notes. That was a that was a fantastic misread there. Okay, so I can't do anything with you. Um, what do you got? Herb of- okay, I don't care. And you... I already got the slippery nut from you, I can ambush you. Um, what can we scrutinize in here? Well, no. Regular at Montrain's Tavern, who has a long and complicated history with the owner Gil. Pays his eye-popping bar tab in labor so often that some people assume he works there full-time, but he's actually a handyman by trade. Alright, and you? Can't do anything with. Alright, so let's make sure we've scrutinized everyone here. God, it's gonna be so hard to make sure. Being a thorn in my side. Four more times. Really? What's the Thank you. Young man who makes his living selling flowers in the back streets. He is actually the only son of a famous merchant and used to work for his father, but abandoned that life after the horrors of war broke him in body and soul. Pinterest as his new lifestyle may be, it brings him peace. Okay. And I can rob you. Herbalite and Herb Awakening, eh, I don't really need them. We're fine. Alright, so... What else do we have here? Um, there's this kid I can interact with. Yeah, see, keeping track of all the things I can do at night and day is gonna be the big pain. Because... Yeah, there's, there's so much going on here. So, mugging you, yeah, that's just the flower vendor, okay. They do just move around, though, to be fair. Um, so some of the characters are the same, depending. Stinging Dagger and Rosary of Redemption. The Black Snake, okay. Okay, you've got some pretty good things, I'll, I'll say. So, now... We continue over this way. Using serum. Let's go ahead and make it daytime, because uh, I could steal some things from you and scrutinize you. What? The girl born and raised on the back streets. Her brother is the most is the only reliable presence in her life, and she loves him desperately. She worries about how gaunt he has grown lately. I know this is because he goes without food to make sure she has enough, but to her sorrow, she is too hungry to say no when he offers her his bread. Hmm. Yeah, and I, all I can steal from you is some bread, so I don't really care about that. Um, stone can be stolen from you. Well, no. A man so mysterious that nobody even knows his name. As far as anyone can tell, he made his living as a kind of backstreet jack-of-all-trades. 
Resourceful and versatile by nature, he has nevertheless been so weakened by poverty and deprivation that his services are seldom called for today. <laughs> this will be easier once we're out of such a large town, but the fact that this place is so huge is definitely the biggest issue at the moment. Being sure to talk to everyone is kind of a struggle. Alright. I'll try and stop me. I'm going to that game parlor whether you like it or not. I'm going to win for sure this time, so don't ruin it. Okay, you have a husband that was addicted to gambling. Begging you, please don't go back there. Try and stop me. I'm going to that game parlor whether you like it or not. Going to win for sure. Why don't you listen to me? Someone please stop him. Okay. So begins the tale of Gambling Man. So what do I need to do? Well, Invert... Inveterate gambler, lured into the vice by his first huge win, he has visited the gambling parlor frequent, frequently since then, but has only managed to set new records for losses and remains oblivious to a concerned wife's counsel to stop. What if I just steal your money? Litecoin pouch. There we go. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Begging you, please don't go back there. Someone stop him? Well, I stole his money, so what's he gonna gamble with if I just stole his money? I thought that's what I was doing here. Um, a raspberry and a bottle of poison dust. Let's scrutinize you. Whoa. Woman who lives humbly in New Delsta. She can be somewhat frivolous, but deeply loves and constantly worries about her kind and pure-hearted husband. Mild by disposition, she has a core of iron. Okay, so I can't actually stop you. All I can do is scrutinize you and rob you during the day, so... Husband spends every evening at that wretched parlor. There's nothing I can do to stop him. I just wish there was some way to bring him back to his senses. I'm sure the people at that parlor are nothing more than swindlers. I know I can convince my husband to stop if I had proof of their foul play. Okay, we can maybe try that. <clears throat> okay, and then there was up here. There's an item. Herb of Awakening. And if we go down here. And cool. Alright, you... I have not scrutinized before. What's this? The guard may seem rather unserious, but he knows how to keep his mouth shut. The building he guards is visited night after night by famous actors, powerful politicians, and wealthy visitors of every description. But he never speaks a word of what he sees. He knows that would doom him to the same fate as the last guard to hold his position. And I can ambush you. Good night. Good night indeed. <laughs> All right, so scrutinize. Well, I can't scrutinize you, but I can mug you. A falcon knife. That's better than what I've got. Heavy coin. Pa oh yeah, we're definitely mugging you. The rich ass aristocrat. Uh huh. I'll take that. You looking for trouble? I Damn right I am. Not. All right, so you are weak to ice. That's good. Can you be weak to this as well? No, you're not weak to stabs. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to hit you with some magic then. Ice wind. There we go. I can go ahead and use my uh, latent power next round. Uh, so... Owie. Latent power. Ice wind. There we go. Kablooey. And now I can just bonk you. There we go. And I'm probably going to be needing that falcon knife, uh, too, unfortunately. I loathe the idea of attacking you, but, um... A falcon knife is probably better than what we're currently rocking on, uh, Throne, so... Because right now you just have a needle dagger. I wish I could see the stats on the falcon knife. Hmm... Yeah, I wish I could see the stats. I'll take that. Just had enough of brutes like you. Yeah, like I know. Else. I'm sorry. I really just need the falcon need knife, you see? Things. There we go, Oswald. Thank you. Yep. All right. Here you go. Uh, Throne. So, falcon knife is much much better. You lose out on some speed, but you gain some evasion and a lot of physical attack. Good. Alrighty. That looks good to me. So, we did that. Um, let's just make sure we've done everything. Oh yeah, I can go inside here during the day, too. Hello. But there's not really much going on here during the day. 
Hello. What you got? Whoa. Local lawyer who was also the scion of a powerful noble family, disgusted by her father's attempts to sweep the poor out of sight, she began distributing bread on the back streets. Her goals are noble, but her privileged upbringing means that she does not yet fully understand the danger her actions place her in. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that you're trying to help, at least. And all I can steal from you is just... Yeah, I stole your wheat bread. God, I'm a horrible person. Okay, so... We can hit up a uh, fresh save here. Let's go ahead and do that. At some point, maybe when we're going through big cities, I'll just, like... <clears throat> handle all of the scrutinizing and everything, like... Off screen, and then I'll just show all the stuff that I get, but I'm not sure because I do like the Little bit of flavor text you get for each character from scrutinizing, so I'm not totally sure. We'll see Let's scrutinize your ass Whoa. The receptionist at the brothel Amant discreet and understanding he is trusted by the brothels workers and clientele alike He actually has a somewhat rare fetish finding out what other people's fetishes are Well, you're in the perfect job for that friend I have stolen from you, yes. Good, good. Alright, so now we continue down Zisawe. Which allows us to get into the big manor. Er, the game parlor. So, I can't boat- well, I already boated over- already boated over there. Yeah, we already got that treasure, so. The game parlor! I have to stop... you. Hello. Scrutinize. What? A man drunk on self-regard and alcohol who cannot stop bragging about his work. In truth, he's a low-ranking member of a gang of thieves too inept to get in on the gang's real heist and forced to scrape out a living at the game parlor instead. <laughs> Youch. Well, what can I steal from you? Light coin pouch and candy. Modest price if sold. Eh, you can keep it, friend. You're probably just gonna lose at gambling, but... Scrutinize? Better behave, baby. What? The man who guards the safe at the game parlor. A champion of the illegal fighting rings where bodyguards are set against one another while their employers place bets. He's a dangerous man who follows orders without questions. Despite his casual manner, his fists are serious business. And yeah, someone mentioned that there's a way to, like, cheese the fights, basically, so you can get really good equipment early, but... I don't know. I feel like that defeats the spirit of the game a little bit. Because, um, I remember when I played as, uh, the merchant in, uh, the previous game. I- you- you are- you were able in that game to get just, frankly, absurd equipment super early. If you had the money for it, which getting money in this game is super stupid easy, so... It was pretty easy just to get super busted weapons way early and just mow everything down. Um, so, you know. That's a thing that can happen. I might do that a little bit, but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna over optimize too much. Manager of the game parlor, so it appears, he is actually just the front man for the black snakes, who forced him to take on punishing debt and shoulder all the liability should things go wrong. Revealing the truth or trying to escape his golden handcuffs would be highly hazardous to his health. Okay, another hidden item for me. Give. And spiriting plum. So yeah, where's the uh? Husband, we're not doing anything illegal here, no way, no how. Is that so? What? Uh, dealer at the new Delsta gaming parlor. I don't know what that sound was. It sounded like something just fell outside. Um, a dealer at the new Delsta gaming parlor. A masterful cheat, he's able to control the outcome of any game in the parlor at will. His role is to hook new players on gambling by setting them up with a big initial win. Okay, so this is the information we needed. Okay, truth to the game parlor. Um, I will also rob you. Uh, 3% success rate. Bottle of blinding dust. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and change it to this. Hello. Olive of life and an antique coin. The antique coins are worth quite a bit. Oh, ho, ho, that's a very stylish hat you're wearing. Aha, <laughs> you're as beautiful as ever. Um, hi. I think I want that, uh, that antique coin. Hand it over. I will not tolerate such I nonsense. Like <laughs> Thinking time. And let's just fireball you. Fire. I'll save my latent power for a follow-up fight after this. I've gained valuable insight. There we go. But yeah, you can just grind so much money up by doing these kinds Ooh. of things. Basically, just mugging people. 
Uh, energizing pomegranate and bewitching perfume. Hmm. I mean, sure, I'll take it. I'll take. I'll probably cut this out though. Oh. Oh, you have leaf toss. Oh god, that's scary. Okay, okay, you have you have gill toss basically, which means you do more damage the more money you have. Okay, well you're you're kind of scary. I wasn't ready for that. Um, interesting. Yeah, that did 500 damage to me. All right, well that's not gonna pass. Uh, so I can mug the same things I can just steal off of people. Uh, which is you know interesting. Gaming is all about high risk and high rewards. Nothing compares to the joy of a job well done, except the drinks. Welcome to the game parlor. Yeah. So yeah, I can't just grab the same shit doing this. I have to be playing like this, we're on a big job. Handbreaker. And bottle of poison dust. That handbreaker seems pretty good. Battle hatchet and shadow soulstone M. I don't think I can take them right now, not with Oswald at least. Once I got, like, uh, maybe a stronger character to do the ambushing, it would probably be a little bit easier. Fur robe, heavy coin pouch. Heavy coin pouch looks nice. Hugs on my side today! Not doing anything illegal here. I can mug you for an antique coin, but you're kind of strong. <clears throat> Good feeling about the next one. Never gambled before, have you? you can see it in your eyes, they don't glitter like the others. Candy. All right. And you. Looks like we got a lot of customers. Spiriting Plum and Enlightening Ring, but eh. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of here now. I got the information I need to finish up that quest, so we can go do that. So let's go handle that. So much of uh, the time in this game is just gonna be going through all of the different towns and doing as much stuff as I possibly can. It's gonna be a lot of work, but... Husband spends every night, uh, evening at that wretched gaming parlor. Nothing I can do to stop him. Yep. The dealer at the game parlor is cheating. Would you please let my husband know? Yeah. That's a lie, I know it! I've won big there before! Yeah, that's how they get you. That's how they trick you, they let you win once so you'll come back and play again. This. They set a trap and I fell right into it. To tell the truth, I already knew that place was just too good to be true. But there was no way I could face you after squandering all our money. I don't care about the money, dear. I'm more worried about you. There's still time for you to change your ways. So please, enough gambling. Come home already. I'm sorry, darling. Thank you for understanding. There you go, friend. Victory ring and energizing pomegranate. So ends the tale of a gambling man. What's a victory ring do? Physical attack up. Ooh, okay, that's pretty good. You have the sprightly and protective ring currently. Victory ring would increase your physical attack by a lot, so let's give you that. Um, I don't think I have anything better for you here. Uh, I do have a kite shield for you that you can equip. Yeah, so go ahead and take the kite shield. Alright, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I'm not sure how I'll handle, um... All of, like, the theft, scrutinizing, and all of that stuff, because as we get even more party members, it's gonna become even more complicated, because there's gonna be more things, but... Like I said, I think the things you can buy off of people, the things you can steal from people, the things you can get from people by ambushing... I think all of that is basically in the same pool, so I only have to check their items, like, once with each character. Basically. Bewitching perfume? Ooh, that bewitching perfume might be worth a lot. Hello. No luck tonight either. I don't know if I want to rob you though. I don't know if I want to rob you. Like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it just a, a, a ton, even though we're already 23 minutes into the video and that's most of what I've done. Uh, all right. So if we go back down here, yeah. So I haven't explored all the way down here yet. I explored here with um with Oswald, but not, uh, you. Okay, so what did you have? 
Uh, hidden item is what I got, and I can steal your handkerchief. Don't need it. I did not mean to leave. Whoopsie doopsie. Alright, back in we go. So... The inn. I do need to sleep, because Oswald's a little... a little hurt. At the moment. It doesn't cost that many leaves, so... We'll be fine. There we go. Good stuff. So now, let's go up here. More to explore. There is still the idiot over here. Um, I don't think I can do anything with you right now, though. Like, I can't finish the quest. Um, the only thing, I mean, I could ambush you, but that's not going to do anything. <laughs> like, yeah, I can ambush you, but that's not going to do anything. Um, I need a way to actually complete your quest, and I don't think I have a way to do that at the moment. Alright. I don't recall giving you permission to pass. Well, I can knock you out. Whoops. Brusque young man blocking the way to the second floor. He won't hesitate to use violent means to stop anyone who tries to get past. Although cutthroat, cutthroat and merciless, there's something about him that suggests a sense of loyalty. Um... Bottle of befuddling dust, I'll be taking that. I'll take that. Hello? Don't waste your time talking to me. Just go to the shops in town like everyone else. A rare stone. Ooh. Fetch is a fair price. Thank you. What? A merchant who recently arrived on the eastern continent. After experiencing some, some success in the west, he eagerly made the journey to New Delsta in hopes of achieving even more, but was overwhelmed by the town's prosperity and has completely lost his nerve. Hidden item? These sales are mediocre at best. No way I can tell the owner about this. He had faith in me. He even promoted me to Master Chef. Maybe just need to create the right menu. You know, something sensational. Alright, first things first. I gotta find the tastiest ingredients around. Maybe a Delsta Devil from the Cave Out East would do the trick? Heard it pretty slippery, but mighty delicious. Devilishly delicious dish. What? Cook recently hired by a local tavern. He has talent, but previously languished without a chance to use it. He hopes to somehow repay the tavern owner who hired him as head cook. And what do you got to steal? A fruit knife? Oh, only plus four attack, though? I'm good. I don't need any of that garbage. On that traveler. Change party, equipment, hear a tale, restore reputation. Don't need to do any of that. So, you. Can I, can I bust my way up there? Empowering lychee. Don't need any of that. Fortifying- Ooh. Oh, Tavern Keeper, you got some good stuff. Okay. Alright, that's been added to the notes there. So, I think all I want to do then is just ambush you. I'm not a high enough level? Yeah, I need to be level 12, damn. Okay, well, we'll, we'll come back over here. Let me uh, go ahead and add that to the notes too. Um, come back to Tavern at level 12. There we go. Cool. Uh, alright. God, clearing everything out takes so much time. Uh, Bewitching Perfume, eh. Yeah, I don't particularly like the ambushing because I actually have to do a fight for it. I would much rather just steal from people if I'm going to steal. Um, silver Rimmed Monocle, eh. Alright, let's see here. What all do you have? What's the Man who collects curiosities as a hobby. He has spent a fortune amassing a collection that includes fossilized dung from an ancient beast, the legendary scabbard of a jeweled sword, and a mermaid mummy. He often errs in judgment, but never regrets a thing. Curio collector. Rare stone and rare cog. Fetches a high price. Uh, ooh, fail one more time and my reputation goes down. There we go. I'll take that. That's pretty nice. Uh, already got your handkerchief. So I cannot stand lowborns. Your reputation in New Delta has suffered. No, we gotta go fix our reputation. I mean, I am doing some pretty unscrupulous stuff here. Um, restore reputation. Fifteen hundred. There we go. Thank you, friend. Expect you to be on your best behavior now. I will not, but thank you anyway. I gotta scrutinize everybody to get their to get their information. Hire for cheap. Powerful aristocrat and a member of the town's congress. He worries that population growth is threatening the town's safety and sees removing the town's impoverished people as the solution. 
He has a tendency to assign a class to everything and believes that he is always in the right. You're an asshat and I'm glad I stole from you. Very, very happy I stole from you. Okay, so what's up, kid? Boy. Courteous boy who is very knowledgeable about theater and actors. He has a deep respect for his father who manages the local theater and taught him everything he knows. Hmm. Gotta remember to talk to all these characters, too. Yeah, we've talked to you before. So, theater, you must have a ticket to see the show. Whoa. Composed man in charge of the theater entrance. His method methodical treatment of guests is almost mechanical, and though he may open the door to the theater, he keeps the one to his heart shut tight. So his past and private life remain a mystery to all. Alright. The crepe maker. Who dealt his leading crepticier. His fruit stuff deluxe crepe is famed the world over, with many, um... Sightseers visiting New Delta specifically to try it. The crepe is a culinary masterpiece that could be eaten every day and never grow tiresome. I think I'm pronouncing crepe right. Inspiriting plum. Ooh, deluxe crepe. Famous street in New Delta. It's popular with people of all ages. Okay. We've got that added to our notes. How you doing? Old locket. Fair price. Let's see, exhausted man. Let's scrutinize you first. Wow. Whoops. Oh my god, I, I, I was like, I was mashing through it because I'm like, it's a, it's fine, I'll just talk to him again and get it again. Maybe I should get myself one of those special invigorating stones on the western continent. Okay, you're tired. But I just don't have the energy to make the journey. I'm so exhausted, what should I do? Okay, yeah. Um, so I fucked up there because I was trying to just be like, okay, I'll just re-talk to him, but this was the quest character, so he was going on about his quest. Whoa. Busy resident of New Delsta. Though a good man at heart, he is prone to acting rashly after jumping to conclusions. He recently returned a young lady's handkerchief after she dropped it. My lately I feel tired. I even went to see an apothecary, but he said there was nothing physically wrong with you. Constantly feel like I'm being watched, so it's impossible to relax. Do you think there could be some kind of bad spirit following me around? Special Invigorating Stones. I just don't have the energy to make the journey. Okay. So we need a Special Invigorating Stone for you. You... Have I tried stealing from? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're the crap. You're the crap nerd. What do you want? I'm not doing anything bad. It's like spending every waking hour watching the man of my dreams go about his day. Is that a crime? Yes. Yes, it is. And I will be taking your... I actually don't care about any of these things. Oh, God. <laughs> you have bottles of blindness and confusion dust, and something that reduces speed and evasion, and you're a stalker. I don't like that. Woman who secretly pines for a man she is too timid to speak to. All she dares do is follow him and observe his actions from a safe distance. Unrequited though it is, her love grows stronger by the day. <laughs> creepy! Very, very creepy. Oh my god, and now we got nighttime too? But this is just- this is just ambush and stuff. I'm not- I'm not gonna worry about the nighttime stuff as much. Like... I can get a charm rod. I guess- I guess it is worth it. You have a wooden staff currently? I mean, a charm rod would be nice. Yeah, I'm starting to think the way I should handle these things is just go through all of the characters after I've talked to them all and see what stuff I would want to grab and just cut that whole process out, because this takes way too long to do otherwise. We need a way to, like, kind of... you know... streamline this, and I think that's gonna be the best way to do so. So... Antique Coin and Charm Rod, I would like those. I've seen worse methods. Alrighty, so... Untouched Break... Got a little bit of XP for that, and I got my Charm Rod. So, is that actually a rod? I'm imagining it is a rod you can use, but is it, like, more of a... It is worse, actually. Damn, I thought it was gonna be better than my wooden stav. But it is not. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be more of a healing one for a second, but... I guess there's not a specific healing stat in this game. It's all just elemental attack. It, you, there's not, like, a mine stat or something like that. Okay. Well, I didn't even really need that, but I got the antique coin, which is worth a pretty good amount, so... We got that going for us. Alright, let me- let me check all of these damn characters. Um, and see what they got. Alright, so yeah, uh, the, the thing is, the characters do share, like, you can steal the same stuff that you can ambush for. 
but there are some characters that pop up differently depending on whether it's it's day or night basically and they'll move around the map so that's the big issue that being said i could just i could just beat up the crap maker and grab this crap right now um so how about we do that i mean it's a it's a quest item i got a friend you want to crap that badly yes i do i like my god Here we go. I'm wanting to say it's actually pronounced crepe now, instead of crep. I think it's crepe. I do not eat- I do not eat them a lot, okay? There we go. We got- we got one of the items I need, so I can take that off my list. We- we- we have the deluxe crepe. Beautiful. Alright, so, and yeah, I checked a lot of the items for the other characters here. They don't really have anything of interest. Um, so we don't need to bother with them anymore. You're new. These tickets weren't cheap. The show better be worth it. And you actually had, like, you know, some pretty, some pretty nice stuff. Looking forward to tonight's performance, but yeah. I think it's a bit weird, but it feels like it's the way we're gonna have to do things. Like, I go through, talk to all the characters, and then I go through and see what all stuff they have. And I'll just point out any of the stuff that looks interesting. Um... It's- it's- it's awkward, but... We- we gotta streamline this some way. So, yeah, your current stuff is better than that Traveler's Mantle I just got. Um... Diamante's Estate. So we can go... back in there. Interesting. I don't see a reason to at the moment, but... It's interesting that we can. Okay, I think that's everything in New Delsta. Let me let me run around really quickly one more time just to be sure we've been everywhere, talk to everyone, and all that jazz. This uh, this young man actually has some pretty good stuff, but uh, I don't know where you show up in the day, so it's kind of hard for me to actually get your stuff. All right, I think I think I'm gonna call it there for New Delsta. Um, I think we're good, and we can leave now. We spent most of this episode here, but there were just so many characters to, like, scrutinize and talk to and everything. Wait, are you the... No, you're the merchant. I was gonna say, are you the young man I saw earlier? You looked kind of similar. The one that had, like, the assault bow and stuff. But, um, yeah. It'll be easier once, uh, I get better chances to steal with Throne and things like that. Of course, there are characters that you can only find, like, at night and stuff, which is, uh, a pain, but... I think we're gonna get out of there for now. New Delsta's just so big that it makes it such a struggle to actually, like, get everything while also putting it in a video format that makes sense and isn't awful to watch. So, I'll probably streamline the process as we go on. But I think basically my working idea at the moment is that we're going to go into a town, we're going to talk to everyone, like every single character that I see, and then I will go back through, scrutinize everyone. Well, I'll, I'll probably scrutinize everyone, let's say that. I'll go through and I'll scrutinize and talk to everyone, and then we'll worry about stealing and ambushing and all of that stuff afterwards, so I can cut most of that out. So, that sounds like a good idea to me for now. Just to kind of streamline the process a little bit, because, yeah, it needs it. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.